Be through. Fair. He will face Rob Cross in a repeat of that final in Risa two weeks ago. Which, of course, Gerwin Price won by eight legs to six to defend this title at the International Fair. Darts Fair. Open. But David Francis producing an average of 72.6 yesterday. He will need to raise that significantly if he is to threaten the number three seed here. 60. Well, Gerwin Price has been earning. He has been making paper 60. this year. Not only winning that Euro Tour title, but he's picking up money in every single event. You've got to go back to April to find a first round exit oh, apart from one day. which he had in July so he's had two first round exits in the last what six months pretty much he is making money and it's not he's going out in the second round he's going to make semi-finals and quarter-finals and finals and winning things for a bloke who says he's just picking the pockets of the professional dart no, players because he's a rugby player He's just having a go at it. It's nonsense. This man is superb. That's why he's the number three seed here this weekend. That's why he's the two-time International Darts Open champion. 59. Going your 109. And he was an overwhelming favourite with the bookies to wrap up this one as well. 12 to 1 on to win this match. Francis the 7 to 1 outsider. David Francis did play this tournament. A couple of years ago. Three years ago, in fact. Played in the first round. Played Gerwin Price. Didn't win a leg. Six to one on that happening again. 32. Going to go on 56. 56 for Price for the opener on throw. Yeah, on the first no line. bother. Gerwin 17 data. Taking and the sophomore running. Game on. Robert Thornton was seen off by David Francis in the first round, but the Thorn... Caused problems for himself. Missed a load of doubles. Picked a fight with the crowd. Was getting frustrated. 104 there. Don't think Gerwin Price is going to do that. Because Gerwin Price has a lot of experience with dealing with hostile crowds. 128. He's found a way to live with it. Yeah, he may well quickly silence the crowd anyway. But that's it. They've got to have something to shout about, haven't they? And if Gerwin Price takes David Francis out of the game completely, then it won't matter. Dyson Parodi found that out against Peter Wright. Where even Dyson didn't have a great deal to shout about. 96. Unless he really loves it in the five segment, in which case he could have been bellowing all night. 60. And this is where Price may well make his move on the Francis throw. 55. Or maybe not. Francis should get down to a finish first. Such of the parodies about that one. Single five with his first dart. And one with his third dart as well. Very parody. Eighty-five. They're all at it. <laughs> it's on vogue in Gibraltar. Could look at the ball. Decides against it and leaves himself sixty-one. But this could be two tops. Now then, Gezi, what a guide! Oh, nice, he's out. Very, very close. Seen him do that many times as well. Francis with a chance to level things up. Well, that's the one. And he too is now looking at tops to level things up at one apiece. And Gerwin Price might be into steel. And that's exactly what he does. Gerwin Price, 2 0 lead. Game. And that will settle him down very nicely indeed. Yeah, a couple of 17 darters, nothing to write home about, but enough right now with the promise of more. 140. Rob 
Cross was not particularly impressive when he took on Christoph Chuck. Or sorry, Chuck. That's how we're saying it, isn't it? Now there's no. K I'm told. Oh right. Well, I started saying Chuck when he first emerged, and then I was told to say Kachuk. So I've been saying Kachuk. I actually said Kukross as well, for good measure, uh, just to balance things up. Well, All he's no longer in the tournament, so we can figure that out another time. But Christoph Chuck was not really able to trouble Cross that much, even though Cross wasn't playing brilliantly. Uh, he bought, knows he's going to have to up it against Gerwin Price if they meet in tomorrow's last 16 and it is looking increasingly likely that that is going to happen because no, of course any outcome is possible but if David Francis were to win this you kind of get the feeling that he might have had to start better than this mm. a bit like he did against Robert Thornton because he went into a 4-0 lead and even then it turned into a nervy affair are we still saying Chuck Norris or is it Kachuk Norris? I think oh, it's still no. Chuck Norris. Okay, just so long as we're clear. Mm. PDC European Tour style guide. One hundred. Going to go on four. Tops for Price. Plenty of time, plenty yeah, of line. darts going in hand going as well. Price. And going Price oh, halfway the there. Yeah, had that successful yeah. defence in Risa. Recently had a run to the final of a Pro Tour event in Barnsley fairly recently as well. He seems to be coming good at just the right time. Just as he did 12 months ago, I, I've, I've got to say, I think his final few months of 2019 oh. are in similar, or is in a similar vein to his, or could be in a similar vein to the closing stages of 2018. It's certainly been a very oh, productive year so far for the Iceman, but yeah, we saw it last year, didn't we? Had that success in Risa and then went on, of course, to have big success in the closing stages of last year as well. Winning the Grand Slam of Darts. Made the last four at the World Series Finals in Vienna as well. Made the last eight at the European Championship. Maybe, just maybe, success in Risa and on the Pro Tour might just be the building blocks for the productive weeks ahead once again in 2019 this time well, around. Well, he is now ranked number six in the world above Peter Wright. And he will go to the World Grand Prix as a man who is he's playing, playing wonderful stuff this year. And on form, he's such a devastating double top hitter. He might fancy his chances. Now, he's got Dave Chisel in the first round. It's one of the picks of the first round games. But Gerwin Price is... This is just a stroll for the Iceman. Yeah, on aggregate now, it's 9 nil to Gerwin Price, if you include that Safety. meeting here in the first 65. round a few years ago. 25, and Tops, once again, he's been pretty good on Tops today so far but can't find that audible 10 Francis not even halfway down from 5.01 yet and that's been a running theme in this match which to tell the truth 100. is a mismatch go 20. certainly tonight yeah she's on the fourth leg going prize fifth leg is going to throw first game on two breaks of throw two holes of throw no bother so far for the number three seed Of course, that productive year, that lucrative year for Gerwin Price so far, also includes a fifth-place finish in the Premier League as well, for which he picked up seventy thousand pounds. So, yeah, not the ranking coffers, money, of course, not ranking but money, but the coffers have been swelled. Yeah, sixty. He's Very reaping the money. financial rewards. Back-to-back -back players' championship titles in February as well, and as well as that success in reset, further semi-final and good deep runs on the European tour as well. Handful of quarter-final appearances here or there along the way now then David what have you got here there's your answer uh, David Francis fans have something to cheer and immediately you go and price hits back with just a ton I see going price this is it's five years he's been playing PDC darts but in that time, he has managed to make at least the quarter-finals of every single 100. TV event, apart from the Worlds, he went out the round before, 
and the Players' Championship Finals. Again, went out the round before. Devin seems to work for him at the Players' Championship Finals. Not no, yet, anyway. Not. David Uruguay, 161. A rare chance for Francis. The, oh, he's going to be a big ass from 161. Can he just hit... I thought Zuby. he might look at the bullseye there, leave him a two dart to his naivety. Yeah, I just wonder if Gwyn Price missing that 25, whether that will come back to haunt him here, whether that might just open the door for Francis for a steal. But he's looking at tops again. Oh. And he really enjoyed Gerwin that. Price. The trouble 14 set it up perfectly. It's and it's David five zip first. for Gwyn Price. And this is a procession now for the Welshman. He's averaging over 100 100.2 to be precise David Francis down at 77 he's only had one data a double he's missed that and that makes for very pleasant Four reading divide. indeed back to back 13 darters and a 15 data and going price is one away from another 6-0 demolition of David Francis 56. yes the double price wash is on That's no help. Easy. Yeah, there was a chance there for Francis just to open up a, a bit more daylight with Gwyn Price having Ooh. started slowly in this late, but there's nothing sluggish about that response. The horse, trouble 20, trouble 19, trouble 18. Fabulous stuff. Arguably harder than 180. No guiding darts there to help no, you, just open high. beds that you've got to pick off, and he did it expertly. Going to not see the finish. That one ricocheting out of what looked to be a treble 20. But David Francis, that sinking feeling must be coming over him here. It may have been coming over him for quite some time in this game. Well, yeah, one. Maybe not a sinking feeling. Must feel like he's anchored to the bottom of the ocean right now as well because Gerwin Price points on the floor in the last visit, but here. Oh, making so giant strides divide. towards the finish line 69 away Price versus Cross two of the top performers this year going at it but then we got some of the top performers in the world loads of them 15 seeded players 21. in action going tomorrow going assuming Gerwin Price completes the victory which looks a formality from here single 19 leaves double top 29 and it may only be a matter of time. I would have thought so. Well, David Francis is going to give this a go. And he's left himself an opportunity, but Price on tops with three darts in hand, you would suspect. It should be mission accomplished, and it is. Gerwin Price once again gets the better of David Francis here in Gibraltar and once again it's by a 6-0 scoreline an emphatic way to round things